Hello everyone, it's K Michelle with Lady Dragonfly Designs. I'm so happy you stopped by my channel and if you're returning, thank you so much. I so appreciate it. I just uh Okay, today, happy Friday. Um today I wanted to explain my opinion or what I learned about different kinds of paper. Okay? Um I've worked in offices and stuff, you know, I mean, I get it, but you know, eh. all right. So what I have learned <clears throat> is, uh, y'all might see on, uh, on, you see it? Okay. Where it says 140 pounds and 300 G. Well, G is actually G S M. Okay. All right. I got notes. Uh, GSM stands for grams per square meter and refers to the weight of the paper. The heavier the paper, the higher the number of grams is going to be, the gen uh, and generally the higher the perceived quality of stock. Okay, so yep, I printed all this uh, and everything and wanted to show you. Um, let's see, so. All right, so your regular copy paper, like I buy Pin Plus Gear at Walmart, the cheap copy paper, <clears throat> excuse me, and it's eight and a half by 11, and it's 92 bright white, and it's 20 pounds. Did not give me a GSM on that. Okay, so your regular copy paper, which is this, see how flimsy, just really thin, okay? Um, that is the thinnest that I normally use, but then it, the spectrum of paper is so wide um, because you can go thinner because you'll have that rice paper, you have tracing paper. Um, oh, I got, so, oh, look, look what I just found. Oh, this is thick vellum paper and it's 100 GSM. And so, see, that's all it says. But you got vellum paper, all kinds of different kinds of paper. And so, if you're new to junk journaling, I got to clean my print heads again. I didn't realize that. Um, so, if you're new to junk journaling and you're like, what kind of paper, you know, to do what with, you know, everything. The one thing I have learned recently since I got my Epson Eco Tank. I cannot explain. This is the Epson presentation paper, and uh, it's matte, and it is 27 pounds, 102 GSM, okay? So, our copy paper is 20 pounds. This is 27 pounds, and so what I read to you, uh, what did it say? Uh, generally, uh, the higher the perceived quality of stock. So, so this is a better stock than this is what they're trying to tell you. And, uh, yep, proof's in the pudding right there. Look how gorgeous, gorgeous that is. It does make a difference. But if you can't afford it, I, I totally get it because forever I was just doing copy paper and cardstock, which cardstock is pen and gear premium white index cardstock at Walmart, just the regular. And it's uh, eight and a half by 11, and it's 110 pounds, 199 GSM, okay? All right, so uh, on my desk, I have, what I do is I get, whoa, avalanche, um, cardstock, and I cut it in half, okay? And I have a stack of, of cardstock, see? Not as flimsy as this, but it's still, you know, and then, uh, then I use, um, and I, I said mixed media paper the other day, and I did not mean to say mixed media paper. Mixed media paper is actually thinner and less weight than watercolor. Uh, when I was doing mixed media, see, I started swatching. Um, I have always used Canson XL watercolor paper, and it's 140 pounds, 300 uh, GSM, and it's a nine by 12. This is really good for, um, I would use this for a journaling card. Um, I would use cardstock as well. I would use this 
for something that like a tuck because you know you're constantly going to be taking something out or putting it in or something to that effect uh oh wind's picking up okay i hope that kind of explains uh things so now all right so oh and index cards where's my index cards and it also depends on uh what i found out it also depends on uh, the brand, um, because uh, I was looking up index cards, and the one I found was just like a regular um, Office Depot kind of, and it was four by six and 80 pounds, so I would assume this is 80 pounds. This kind of feels like 80 pounds. Um, it's thinner than the cardstock, which is 110 pounds, so I hope that kind of makes sense. I've been I've been doing research for y'all. So now put it back into uh, not the research. So I'm gonna throw my notes to the side. All right, and so I printed these out to show you the difference between the quality on a copy paper and a presentation paper. Uh, if you printed this out on the cardstock, um, you would still it would probably be somewhere in between. It'd be probably a little darker than that, but lighter than that one, okay? I hope that makes sense. Uh-oh, I covered my journal. That I was, here she is. Uh, uh. Okay, ah, oh, I love this journal. Oh, that is still so beautiful. But y'all know my favorite page is still that one. Okay, uh, and so last night when I look at this, my lovely Brenda Hall gifted me some napkins, and that is gorgeous. And then I pulled out that little petals uh, paper pad. Oh, hold on, y'all. I got stuff. Scott just uh, was here to get a trailer. And I wanted to show him everything that Brenda had sent me. And he came in here and looked. He's like, oh, dear. <laughs> it's pretty bad. All right. Here, let me put my glasses on. All right. So this is Paper Studio. I use a lot of Paper Studio. Um, it's uh, from uh, Hobby Lobby. It says it's cardstock. And here it does not say, like, the pound. It just says uh, what the size is. And it's acid-free because it is... Uh, scrapbooking paper um oh okay all right give me back my notes <laughs> hold on all right so so if this is cardstock i would say this is 110 pounds but in my researching i have found out there is such a thing as lightweight cardstock okay so here's my cardstock and i'm feeling it feels about the same to me okay just feel it Okay, so now I'm going to try to explain or play. Um, so I have this, and uh, it's cardstock, okay? So it's not as flimsy as that paper, okay? This, I think, is sturdy enough to just be decorated and put in there as a journaling card. You can make it a tag. We learned that Wednesday. And so I cut uh, my cardstock down. Just to put here, I didn't know if I was going to decorate this or this side or what, but I just put it there as kind of like a template, okay? Now, this is a, you know, music sheet. Um, so, I'm thinking the hymnal and the dictionary pages are, you know, a course, uh, maybe maybe 10 to 15 pounds if copy paper is 20 pounds or it might be 20 pounds too i don't know just it and it depends it was saying that um different authors uh like you could get a webster's dictionary and then like the high school dictionary and their pages might not be the same which that's true because i have dictionaries that are um Oh, like a book page kind of consistency opposed to like a dictionary that has the real thin pages, okay? But in a journal, this page is is uh, lighter weight, so it's not as strong. So I will come and print this on, I did um, 
some of these I printed on either copy paper or that pre presentation paper, okay? And so this feels like cardstock to me though, okay? But you can back it with a, a regular copy paper and that'll just make it stronger, okay? And here, uh, that was just, uh, you know, the digital I put together. And here I wanted to make a template. Okay, so here's the dictionary page. And that's really super, super thin to me. Okay, and um, so you can see it's just really flimsy. I've strengthened the corner here. So if, if I'm going to, I just put these in here to mark it. So if I was going to sit here and make I uh, insert a tag. Let's make a tag. Okay. Oh, uh, y'all. Oh, y'all want to see what I did to my desk? Look what I did to my desk. I coffee dyed my desk, but it was really cute, so I just left it. <laughs> oh, I was yeah. I was playing with coffee last night. All right. So, and I also wanted to show you uh, because I was noticing that I printed this on landscape and I printed this on portrait and I'm gonna use that. Oh, that is just so gorgeous. We'll use, I, I got that so I could cut it from here to here. Oh, let's use that one. That one's pretty. We'll do both. <laughs> I can't make up my mind, so we'll do both. I hope everyone's doing okay. Uh, we need to pray for our sweet Leslie. She thinks she has uh, pneumonia, bless her. Oh, pusha. My blood, it's still, y'all, I had to give this thing a bath. It was so dusty and filthy. Oh, give me my fiskers. See, and that was a cricket trimmer. And now here's my fiskers. But yeah, I hope y'all liked Wednesday and, and liked this series. Um, and if y'all got any ideas or want, uh, want, to know about something, just let me know. Let me know, I'm more than happy to do this. And I learned a lot, you know? I mean, I, I kind of, uh, because when I was watching, when I uh, first started watching junk journal uh, videos, let me try to fix this. Oops. Ah, uh, okay, I got it. barely. Uh, when I started watching uh, junk journal uh, videos like Tina with Shabby Dabby Doodah and Rachel with Roxy's Creation and uh, even Leslie at 507, I was like, the paper looks thicker, but is what kind of paper is it? So, I, I, you know, you'd watch the video and it kind of looked like copy paper, and but it might have been cardstock or presentation paper. And so that leaves you confused with, you know, what to use, I guess. Uh, to me, it did. And so, um, I just, my personal preference is if um, I print like a graphics fairies, my images, I print those on copy paper uh, because I know that I'm going to glue it onto either an index card, cardstock, or I'm going to glue it down on a page just as, you know, say that was a image and I printed it on copy, I'm sorry, copy paper and I just glued it down, okay? Copy paper's fine for that, let me see. Let's see, do I have one? And see, this is incorporating mixed media into my junk journal because this is one of my mixed media pieces. I love that bird, so cute. And let's see. And see, this is uh, the watercolor paper, you know? And so it's sturdy. And so I gave it a sturdy card, you know, because it's on the product. Oh, product boxes. Oh, no, we're not gonna go that far because it got really confusing, you know? We're just gonna leave product boxes, product box, okay? And so again, this is card stock, okay? This is copy paper, or actually this is, um, y'all, yeah. it's not a book page. I think it is a music page. It was just one of those blank ones. But see, then here you got really old timey one where it's very fragile and it'll crack. 
Now, see, I took this, and um, but the book page was thick, um, kind of, mm, yeah, kind of consistency of a cardstock, okay? But I just glued that straight onto the page, but that was that music page, so that made that whole page stronger, okay? And so, see, uh, this image... I printed on copy paper because I knew I was going to cut it down and it was either going to go on a, a, a tuck or a tag or on a, you know, just on a page. Okay, and that's little Tim Holt ephemera, you know, kind of stuff. This is <clears throat> a book page that we did. Remember, isn't it so cute? That came out so cute. Where's that one? Did we lose it? I'll have to find it. But this is... Um, uh, book page and it is folded which makes it stronger so if you got a thinner paper oh there it is is that it yeah it is well let's just glue that and um so it's it's again all personal preference um you know uh because probably uh you know some people like to just use presentation paper for everything all right, if you got the means to, you know, supply that paper, go for it. Um, I got it, uh, and but I I use it very sparingly, um, it, you know, because it it is not as cheap as copy paper. Okay, but if you can't afford the presentation paper, copy paper and cardstock, like I said, I've been doing cardstock and uh, copy paper for years, you know. And, uh, but you can always make it stronger. And this is, uh, like, um, the backing to like a steno pad. You know how, how thick that is? And that's what this card is. And I just put that stuff that we got from that, uh, bled company. And then that's just a manila folder. Manila folders are good. I, I know, uh, y'all that have stuck with me, I told y'all this story, uh, I worked at junior high, and this lady, this teacher, she came, and I, I kid y'all not, I kid you not, she had a stack that that tall of file folders, and she put them in the trash can. Yes, you know I pulled every single one out. They're at home. I have enough cardstock or manila folder to last me forever. This is the watercolor paper, okay? It's just sturdy. Okay, if you don't want it that sturdy, then you go down to a cardstock or a paper. It, you know, the, uh, go heavier for the thickness and, and the strength that you wanted the paper. Does that make sense? I hope so. And this was an actual product tag that I had just backed with coffee dyed copy paper. Say that fast three times. And then this is watercolor paper. So, uh, so basically, I use watercolor paper, cardstock, and the presentation paper, and, and copy paper. And see, this is a calendar, and uh, that was uh, just copy paper, but it made it thicker. And then this is brown cardstock, which is, it's already thick. And then here is another, uh, the other half of that music sheet. That was just blank, but it's a music sheet. But it is, it's the same size or the weight of a copy paper, okay? Oh, and then we got ledger. Ledger is thicker than a dictionary page, but not by much, you know? So if you got one of these thin pages and you want to make it stronger, let's do this. Yes, okay, I found my page, all right? So, oh, goody. And it does it right there in the middle. Where's it? It's Betsy. There she is. Yep, like I said, I hope everybody's doing good. I am just, uh, I'm taking emergency, immune, taking my allergy medicine, um, popping in some Tylenol for the headache. Oh, the allergies in this state. Mm -mm. Okay, do I want to go to top or bottom? I am just going to put it in the middle, and I think I'm going to uh, just let it overlap. It There's no rules. You do what you want, you know. If you want a page to be real strong and neat and proper, go for it. You want it all wonky, and uh, like one thing Leslie at 507 Willow House does, 
which I, my OCD won't let me do it. I've tried. Um, she, let's see, I got her a journal. Oh, oh, it's chunky. And what she does is, is, um, I don't know if you could see it, but she likes her edges curled. I'm not going to open all this up or we're going to have to flip through, <laughs> you know, but she, she, um, folds her edges, uh, to make it look worn and torn and which I totally get that, but my OCD will not let me do that. Um, because if I see a little thing, I've got my glue and I've got to glue it down. I'm trying to work on that because I do like the torn edges. Just, I guess, not when I'm doing it. Okay. Gorgeous. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love this journal. It's just, uh, this is just a journal I put together. Okay. But, okay, now, of course, when it's thin, now, see that corner? Okay, it's going to drive me nuts. Um, okay, so we made the graph paper thicker by putting presentation paper, which, what was that one? 27 pounds. Okay. All right. So, I like that. And you can journal right there. You can flip it over. You can still journal here, but you made that page stronger. And here, okay. All right, let me cut this. How's the weather for everybody? Uh, Scott cleaned the pool this past weekend. And uh, like I said, him and uh, Troy just came by to get a trailer. Oh, Logan was so happy. All the dogs were happy. And uh, we don't have the pool totally full. So it sounds like a waterfall. And uh, I was like, Scott, come and tell me what you want me to do with this. And he's like, well, we don't have to run it all the time. We could turn it off. Oh, so he turned it off. Cause it's, uh, if I'm not thinking about it, it sounds like something's flooding, you know, like a water main busted. Now see, that is perfect. Okay, and this, that um, copy paper. Oh, my shoulders are killing me today, though. I feel like somebody has punched me, uh, you know, frogged me right in the arm. Um, and I'm going to partially blame the dogs because uh, we were sleep. There's like two huge blankets in the bed. Oh, but I want it like that. Okay, I'm going to do it this way. Um, two huge comforters on the bed, balled up. I'm sitting there thinking, and Era is trying to put, my little chihuahua, yep, um, was trying to push me out of bed. So, yeah, it's pitiful. Scott's out of town working. We have king-size bed, and I'm telling you, Era only gives me that much space between Era, Kaya, and Logan. They're crazy. Oh, and Mango. Mango, my granddaughter. She's a red healer mix. She tries to hurt Grammy K. Okay. Okay. And, and Leslie over at 507 Willow House Journals, you know, she has big blue. We all name her. Well, uh, me and Leslie name our rulers. And she takes her ruler and goes like that. That's absolutely fine. I prefer to do it this way. However you want to do it, do it the way you like it. Because you're not going to enjoy your craft if, if you're going to do something that's not comfortable to you. Does that make sense? And I'm just trimming. Y'all see my cute little bracelet Misty Dawn sent me. It's Snoopy. I put it on. I didn't realize it until I was standing out there with Scott and Troy. And I was like, it's Snoopy. Thank you, Misty Dawn. My crafty mouse. She's going to try to do a video, she said. 
she's been working on her lighting and everything. So, okay, two huge. Okay, so we have just made a journaling card because it's still flat. Now, if we want to tag, oh, you know, but you know what? That is, oh, I like that though. Where's that one where I had the, oh, you're cute. Uh -oh. oh, snap. Oh, oh, oh. That hurts stretching like that. Okay. Yeah, I got glue stuck. Okay. Let's try you again. Oh, that is gorgeous. But I do think I am going to cut that off right there. I'm not going to throw away that piece. You can make that a cluster. You can make it a little um, decorated and just put it in as an extra little tuck. Oh, I like that. I like that pointing like that. I don't know why. Oh, that is so cute. We need to ink it. All right, I changed everything around you. Well, not everything, but I put my ink back over there. Oh, and look at this cute idea Brenda told me. She got me this little uh, birdie uh, novel, no, I can't say, you know, little candle holder, tea light candle holder. And look how perfect. Who thunk it? Who would have thunk it? I just think that is just cute as can be. So, uh, but I did go to Dollar Tree uh, yesterday, and I couldn't find anything cute like that. So, but I bet you could, you know, thrift store, the charity shops. But yeah, I would have never known. And, uh, uh, oh, uh, who was she telling me? Um, Joy uh, Junk Tea. Yeah. Joy Junk Tea. I can't even remember, y'all. Oh, I still, yeah, I have sinus issues. I've got congestion up in my brain. I can't even think. That is so cute. Let's do something here. Oh. Y'all, I am, one minute I am freezing to death, and one minute I am hot flashing. Look, Troy got me a little flower out of the yard when they were loading it. Troy's just the sweetest thing. Um, let's see. Let's see. What do I got? Ooh. Let's use some of this. Because it's, it's presentation paper. So if I'm printing on presentation paper, you can bet that I am going to use all of the paper. You know. Because, yeah. If I'm going to pay that much for something, I want my, yeah, bang for my butt. Oh, that's cute. Should we, oh, y'all, 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 where is it, where is it? I got, oh, oh, Pusha, where is it? I have a, I found a new, oh, thing. Oh, I found that, but I found a, um, Oh, where is it? I can't see it right off hand. But it was, oh, I know. Um, I have, oh, it's right here. Because I put it under my planner to smash it. Doesn't that look yummy? Doesn't that look yummy? I want to try it. I don't know what's going to happen. But it just looked like fun. Oh, cuteness. Oh, it makes uh, more defined uh, ridges. You know what that makes me think? Ruffles have ridges. <laughs> I know, we think of the craziest things. Oh, that is so cute. I love that, Brenda. That is just so clever. Oh, okay. Let's put it down. And 
And so I guess the summary to my, my opinion here is get the paper that you're comfortable with. Um, like I would, I would never just put a piece of copy paper in, in a thing, uh, copy paper or book page is a backing, um, it, it, to make it like a tag or a journaling card. Um, I would use a card stock and, um, Oh, scrapbooking paper too. What did I learn about that? It says right here, uh, 80 pounds. Um, okay, scrapbooking.com's five-star rated 85-pound paper pads fall in this category and for, are perfect for many projects, okay? So, uh, so if you go into the 80... Uh, 80 pound it's not cardstock but it's thicker than copy paper okay but that that's where pattern paper so your scrapbooking pads and stuff uh come into play unless you have a paper pad like this that flat out says cardstock you know but yeah just uh practice and um you know uh do you want flimsy or do you want sturdy uh, how stir it's just your own preference. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, Brenda sent me this. <gasps> oh, okay, but it, it's going too much. Oh, that's so yummy with stainless steel pens. Thank you. <laughs> okay, oh, I can't put, oh, can I? Should I? Oh, that does tie in with that. Okay, I'm done. Yeah, I'm good. Let's cut it. Oh, do I want that? Sure. Oh, this is so gorgeous. Oh, perfect. Oh, I lost my pen. Oh, can I, should I hot glue? I'm going to go ahead and art glitter glue. Only because my hot glue gun's not on. If my hot glue gun was on, I would probably put it down with hot glue gun. Or, uh, I guess, like a fabric tack. And see, I just... Um, I, I've never used... Uh, if I've used fabric tack, it was somebody else's, and it was just there. Um you know, working with somebody on a project, probably for school. Um, but I personally have not purchased any kind of uh, fabric tack or the Beacon 3-in-1. Um, I uh, started out with Elmer's uh, Glue Wall. Uh, then way, way back in the day, back in 90, uh, it was Eileen's, because that was like the number one craft glue. And then, uh, you know, since I've started junk journaling, it's been um, Eileen's for my larger areas, and then art glitter glue or barely art glue um, for the details. Okay, that is so cute, but we need to ink it because you know what Mr. Scott would say. Yeah, he's wanting to uh, make a really thin copper. Uh, something or other. Artwork, I guess you could call it. With uh, copper. Oh, no. Okay. Ow. It hurts. It hurts. Yep, when I get done with my video, I'm going to take something stronger because it's, I don't know what's going on. Uh, I did not have a good night's sleep last night, so I'm thinking I slept on my arm wrong, um, did something in the those comforters, so we're changing bedding. So, okay, how long have we been going? 34 minutes. That is absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous. Isn't that cute? Okay. 
Okay, do I want to do something? Yeah, I want to do something over here, but we can't do that. Let's see. I ripped out a whole bunch of these. Oh, that would be cute. Oh, look at this. Oh, and look. Oh, look what I... Oh, yeah, I forgot I did this last night. Isn't that cute? And this is... Now, see, this is... It's along the lines of the mixed media, but it's, um, yeah, mixed media, not watercolor. Oh, this is not as thick as the watercolor paper, okay? Oh, that is so cute. I wonder if we back it like that. Oh, I don't know. Y'all, oh, we got piles. Oh, that's cute. Oh my goodness. I threw everything over here. Okay, I'm here. Okay. Oh. oh. That is cute. Oh, and I backed these. So this is pattern paper. Let me get because I know I have a piece right here. Okay. Now this paper pad is cardstock. Okay. Now, yes, this is the weight of a cardstock, okay, and it's double sided, okay. So, if I took that, I would go ahead and use that as a journal page or a signature, okay, or I would cut it and decorate this side because you could still write on this side, you know, okay. I hope that makes sense, okay. Back to uh, I'm trying to educate and play all at the same time. Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay. Oh, but you do. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. And you know me. Oh, what can we put right there? No, we're going to. Okay. It's a tuck. It's a pocket. See, and that should be the next thing we cover. The difference between a tuck and a pocket. Oh, I have to write that down. Yep, because I was just, you know, I sit here still today. And like I said, I was confused on journaling cards and tags. And, you know, and when I, like I said, when I was start, first uh, watched videos, I couldn't tell if they were using copy paper, presentation paper, or card stock, you know. come out perfect. Huh? Y'all, hush. Okay. Hush. Jettabane. Okay. Perfect. Let's make this a tag because I want to make a tag now that I've distinguished the difference. <laughs> My preference. And see, for the longest time, I was into the journaling card. So I would have just put something on here, popped it in there, and, you know. But, like I said, I've, you know, the, you know, information is knowledge. And the more knowledge you know about something, the more your your brain can, you know, figure out your, pre your preference, you know. Does that make sense? Uh, and I'm just... It's the sinuses. <gasps> Looky. Wonder if we just did a little bit. Oh. Where's my water pen? There you are. Like, 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 like. Oh, I love doing that. It's just, that is so... Satis satisfying? Yeah. I'm just going to do the edge. Just pull it off with my finger. Sometimes I can do it with the pen. Okay. Put you over there. 
Oh no, I'm getting coffee everywhere. Oh, my sequence. <laughs> I am all over the place, y'all. Okay. Like that. Okay, and I apply napkin and tissue paper with glue stick. Um, it just, it just works better. Um, I've tried, uh, well, okay, I'll take that back. Hold on. I used to, uh, well, and I really don't anymore. So, so, um, yeah. Um, I like that little wrinkle there. Um, if I was, um, say doing, say this whole entire piece was going to go somewhere, uh, or I was doing a lot of decoupaging or collaging with a uh, tissue, um, I would use a uh, matte gel medium. Okay. And, but that was also part of my mixed media too. So, oh, that is so cute. What do you need right there? We need some right there. Where's my book? This has just been the most handiest thing. I am dying to you say it. Oh, we were going to make a tag. So, that will do it. Okay, I'm going to get my whole punch. See, I keep forgetting I'm making a tag. Okay. Alrighty. And, oh, do I dare do it? Okay, I'm going to do it, y'all. I'm scared because every time I try to do this, okay, now what, do, uh, what is, this is what uh, Rachel and Tina do. Cut off one corner, take it and, okay. All right, not too shabby, not too shabby. All right, that's cool. I'm down with that. cute okay and then I am going to just put that like that I can't I can't sit and I let <laughs> y'all will hear me cry on video if I try to sit and I let um let's see what's that got what's that got <sighs> you're too white oh pretty pink And this is seam binding. Um, I went to a thrift store um, years ago, and um, a, a, obviously a seamstress had a, a elderly lady had passed away, and there was a box of fifty to a hundred of these. Oh, yes, I bought them all. You know I did. Oh, is that not the cutest thing? Oh, let's ink the tag a little. Yeah. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, I should have used Baker's twine. I got Baker's twine because Brenda set me up. Oh, but I like that. She set me up, y'all. Get it. Okay. I'm liking the pink. I really am. I'm liking the pink. Oh, that is so cute. Look, we made a tag that you can journal on. <gasps> Cuteness. Okay, well, I'm just going to borrow that pen because I don't know where my doohickey is. I can't even get it in there. Okay. All right, y'all. Well, I hope that explained 
uh, something about paper for you and, and you know, inspired you, um, educated you. Um, you know, it's just your personal preference. You just got to get in there. And, you know, of course, if you're on a budget and you can't afford presentation paper, by all means, like I said, I, I did uh, copy paper and cardstock for years. And I, ha and I had pattern paper. And, but now I'm now going into the digis and, and the presentation paper. So, and I've been doing junk journaling for five years maybe longer because I was still into mixed media when my husband passed away seven years ago. Oh, you know what today is? Today is February 23rd. It is me and Scott's anniversary. We've been together for seven years. So happy anniversary, honey. Oh, he got to see me too. Awesome. I, you know, things just come into my mind. Do we, that is just so beautiful. I might find some to put on there. Maybe. We'll see. But that that's what we're doing today. And I hope I explained paper. If you have any questions, please uh, leave me a comment. I'll research and, and get you an answer. And if I don't know it, if I know it, I'll tell you. And uh, don't forget, we still have the Shabby Chic a giveaway journal with her little companion. So please like, subscribe, and comment, and share, and do all that fun stuff. And once I hit 500, we will have a giveaway. All right, until my next video, I love y'all. Bye.